BTEC, Applied Science, Unit 5, uh, C1 Physics, so still on the thermal physics. And this video is about heat engines. What is a heat engine? Now, uh, the second law of thermodynamics says that heat energy will always flow from a high temperature to a low temperature. I put in brackets unless work is done. We'll worry about that in the next video. But basically, heat energy always goes from hot to cold spontaneously on its own. Uh, if I put a hot cup of tea on my desk uh, and I come back half an hour later, it will have lost heat energy. It will be cooler. Uh, I'd be very, very surprised if I put a cup of tea on my desk uh, and I came back half an hour later and it was hotter because then it would have gained heat energy. So heat energy always flows from hot to cold spontaneously unless there's something making it do otherwise, unless something is doing work. And that is the second law of thermodynamics, which you need to know. So looking at this diagram, we have a, a high temperature reservoir so a substance at a higher temperature, something which has lots of heat energy. And we have a cold temperature sink. And so heat energy is going to flow from the high temperature reservoir to the cold temperature sink. Heat energy flows spontaneously from a high temperature reservoir to a low temperature sink. Now, the idea is that as it does that, what we might be able to do is to get it to do work. So as it goes through the, the heat engine, which is the, the object that we are talking about, is the heat engine, then it does work. It's a little bit like um, this water wheel. Uh, the water at the top has got potential energy as it flows through the water wheel. Uh, it loses energy and it does work. It does useful work. And that's what a heat engine is. And if the heat energy coming from the high temperature reservoir is QH and then the heat energy which is dumped at the cold temperature sink is QC then the work done will be QH minus QC so W equals QH minus QC here are some examples of heat engines well a petrol engine is a heat engine uh, you know, there's an explosion, we burn fuel, we have hot gas, and that hot gas does work by pushing down on the piston. And then leftover heat is ejected in the exhaust gas, and the cycle starts again. Uh, a steam engine is a heat engine. The steam does work, it pushes on a piston. And then a steam turbine in a power station uh, steam comes in and it turns round these turbine and that's connected to a generator which makes electricity etc. A steam turbine is a heat engine. These are heat engines. Uh, this expression here is for the efficiency of a heat engine. Now remember that efficiency is useful divided by total or useful divided by input so the useful work done, I've already said, is QH minus QC. The energy input is QH. If we divide through by QH, that gives us 1 minus QC over QH. Remember, QC is the, the heat energy going to the sink. Uh, a QH is the heat energy from the reservoir, it, for example, from burning the fuel. And this is an expression for the efficiency which you need to know. And another expression you need to know is for the maximum possible efficiency. Now, obviously, the maximum possible efficiency can't be bigger than one, because that would mean that you're getting more energy out than you're putting in. It must always be less than one. And that basically means because some of the energy must always be wasted. And to work out the maximum efficiency, it's 1 minus Tc over Th. Uh, these temperatures, of course, are in Kelvin. And Tc is the temperature of the sink. 
and TH is the temperature of the hot reservoir. One interesting thing, basically the bigger the difference in temperature, then the more efficient the device will be, the more efficient the heat engine will be. Let's look at an example. It's very similar to one I saw on an exam paper. The steam entering a steam turbine is at a temperature of 300 degrees centigrade. It leaves the turbine as water, that should say, at 27 degrees centigrade. Calculate the maximum possible efficiency of the turbine. And there we see 1 minus Tc over Th. So 1 minus uh, 300. Uh, and I've just realized I've, uh, no, I haven't. I'm okay because that 300 is actually 27 plus 273. And the 573 is 300 plus 273. Uh, and so that gives us 0.48 or 